Morning traders, Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Tuesday, the 18th of July. Let's get started. Pause your players here, read to the very bottom. This is very important to us. It should be important to you. And if you agree to all this, hit the play button. Summary for today, uh, we've had a reversal in the short-term market model. Uh, it's a trigger day. Uh, trigger days typically mean these are entry days for our model portfolios. Uh, Long-term market model, which is appropriate for the folks who are a little longer in their time frames, two weeks and beyond, remains in an uptrend. Uh, we had a continuation day up, and this will be clear on the next slide. Uh, we are mature in this overall short-term cycle. We could see a pullback, especially with OPEX being this week. So we are watching for a pullback and a, a consolidation. But also, there's a lot of optimism around the 4550 level in the SPX, and we may push that before we, uh, we pull back. Uh, the too long didn't read. Uh, it is OPEX week. If you've been living under a rock and don't know that, now you do. Uh, we are call delta dominated overall, both above and below. So the out of the money put speculators are still there. The in the money call speculators are still very present and in control of the downside, very supportive. And this will help us with Vanna and Charm. Uh, VIX options, today is the last day of trading, and just so you're aware, plus GEX in the SPX complex went from 4,500 to 4,550, um, which is generally a bullish thing. In terms of transitions, uh, we closed at 4,522. This is one of the levels that uh, we had identified yesterday in the 0DT and 1DTE guesstimates of overnight parking. Uh, so it materialized. Uh, there was actually a confluence between both the 0DT and the 1DT. 1DTE, as pointed out by one of our Discord members, so thank you very much. Uh, I was focused on the shorter term, the 0DTE, and he was focused on, we also had uh, a confluence in the 1DTE. We have these tools. You can visualize this yourself. You don't need me to do it, and it's pretty cool when it works. Uh, PM Complex, uh, 4510 is the upper transition zone. This is increased, and minus trans is 4470. That's unchanged. So the bottom is relatively stable. The top has moved up, which is indicative of uh, at-the-money calls being closed and uh, at-the-money puts being added, forcing this transition up. That is healthy, although it might be slightly bearish as people are positioning for a downside movement. In the Combo Complex, which is the AM and the PMs, uh, plus trans remains at 4,500, minus trans at 4,470. Note the confluence between the PM settled and the combo. Uh, both of them are at 4,470. That's a pretty clean line. That area and below will have a state change in mentality and uh, speculation for the overall markets. Zero DTE, uh, plus trans 4,515, minus trans 4,510. Very tight, very well-defined. Uh, this sets up the potential for lower volatility and really gives you some very, very clean breakpoints on your if-then statements. Everything is about if-then and risk management. Make sure you understand this if you don't come on into the Discord and ask questions because this is really crucial to your, uh, your success as a trader. Uh, zero DT plus GEX, 4545, not 4550. So just be aware of that. We're just under that 4550 that everyone's targeting. Uh, zero DT minus GEX is 4,500. Now, this is a notable shift because we've got now below us, uh, we've got in the money puts, uh, or out of the money puts, excuse me, but uh, a, a switch from in the money calls to out of the money puts below us, which is a shift in overall structure for the zero DTE as a whole. We've had 4,500 as a call dominated structure, both in Delta and Gamma, and now we do not. So just be aware of that. There are some if-then statements that I'll let you read. Uh, net call uh, dominated today. Uh, it is normal OI size, which is uh, for a Tuesday, it's a little surprising. There's a little more speculation, possibly because of the VIX uh, roll-off today. Today's the last trading day for VIX, monthly VIX options. They do expire before the open tomorrow. Uh, we don't see any progress today above 4570. The zero DTE COI is 4565. So even if we do, you know, through whatever action, take out 4550 and we progress higher, we think the cap on today is probably in this uh, 4565 area. Uh, we see nothing lower than, it's pretty far down there, but 4445, which is the zero DTE POI. We actually think 4470, even though it's a stretch, is possible and just want everyone to pay attention to that. Uh, Discord members, as always, watch the value in the in the VALD commands, and that'll help give you a gauge on what's going on. Uh, taking a look at the market model, we think this is pretty important for your trading health. 
Uh, we do have a new uh, trigger day, and you can see how that is structured. Basically, the CT, which is the bolded white line, closed above the previous day. This is appropriate for the zero DT and uh, intraday traders. Uh, you can see that it's higher than the previous day, which is uh, uh, what we call a tag combo eight. And now I know that's going to be completely foreign to the majority of you. But if you come in the discord, we're cataloging these different uh, situations and, and setups. And we have proven through extensive back testing with our partner EdgeRater that uh, there are advantages to using a market model with, uh, with many strategies that uh, uh, involve dealer reaction. Um, Prior day, TC1 was a continuation day. Uh, you can see that the bolded white CT line actually was going downward, and but the uh, ribbon, the colorful red, and through cyan colors that you see at the bottom were still in an uptrend. So you can have these short-term pullbacks with uh, in a longer-term bull trend, and that is exactly what we had yesterday. And now you can see that we may have a resumption to the upside. This is not predictive, uh, we, although it does have a momentum component because you're using averages of time. And so we are looking for that bolded white CT line to uh, eventually start dropping towards and converging towards the top of the ribbon, which would be healthy. It would offer us a, another entry point. And if you go over to the left side of the page and look, you'll see exactly what that looks like. Those were entry periods the day before where it says uh, TC21 continuation day. The day prior to that was a trigger day. And we were able to experience all of the run of last week and then some. So uh, when this works uh, as a, a trend following system, uh, when there is a trend, it captures it beautifully and allows you to participate. Uh, gamma levels we're watching today. Uh, you can see deltas uh, up and down. The only red delta that we have on the left-hand side, which is the PM settled complex, is the JPM strike for the end of September. It's already there. It's present, and it's uh, although it's not liquid, it's growing. Everything else, green deltas, very strong, uh, very low expected move uh, um, projected for today. Uh, PM complex. This is literally just the PMs, the dailies in isolation. Uh, first thing to be aware of is that uh, we do have a little bit of red uh, in the money puts starting to dominate the overhead. That first X that's on the middle of the page shows you the first what we call delta node. That is a sign change in delta. Uh, these can be parking spots. They're also indicative of where a strike is losing the battle on the call side and the put side is now starting to rear its head through the sand. As those increase, we get a change in sentiment. It's part of our overall market uh, model and how we explain dealer dynamics. So if you're uh, unfamiliar to this, would urge everyone to come into the, uh, the Discord and ask questions. Uh, 4550 is indicated as plus GEX. That is the short term upside target. It's going to be somewhat um, supported by the 4500. You can see I circled that in, in red. You can see there's 58,000 calls uh, in the PM complex that are below us. And what that means is these are in the money uh, calls. These will have a positive delta contribution and due to charm action. They will continue to grow and be supportive. So we're watching that. The fact that it's in transition and is blanketed by two very weak deltas is, you know, something to think about. We could pull back and hold into that area. It would not be a surprise. Uh, just be aware of that. Uh, zero DTE action. Uh, 4545, as I indicated earlier, is the plus GEX uh, level. You can see that uh, it does really set the upper limit for today. Unless we get a lot of targeting above 4545, meaning calls being opened at 50, 55, 60, et cetera, we don't think we're going much higher than uh, the 4545 at best. Uh, we do have the zero DTE call open interest uh, sitting up there at 4565 that probably will put a cap on our upper progress uh, if we do have some targeting uh, the 4570 4575 boundary is where pressure subsides to the upside and it probably is we're not going to go any higher than that if we do see any any broad action today uh, to the downside uh, again, just noting the 4500 is no longer a call dominated uh, gamma strike nor a delta strike. Um, it's, it's um, well, the delta is green, excuse me, I made a mistake there. 
So you can see the green deltas, but the red gamma. Uh, this is now a short term, uh, zero DTE put dominated uh, type of structure. If uh, you're not familiar with how you can have a positive delta, but have a, uh, a put dominated uh, gamma uh, level, uh, come on into the Discord and ask. Uh, it's a, an important concept to understand where things are at. Uh, 4485 is a downward node. So if we do break below this very clean transition today of 4510, 4515, uh, which is very unambiguous, uh, it does open the door through 4500 down to that 4585. We don't think we would go much lower than that. Uh, there isn't a lot of reason for us to go below that. And as, depending on when those uh, in the money calls are monetized and if they're monetized, remember this is cash settled. There's no uh, impetus to do that. The, uh, the charm flows from these things will be very, very supportive as we go down. The one DTE, uh, the transition stands out at you. The delta nodes stand out at you. You can see you've got a confluence tomorrow of the 4550 being plus X, or excuse me, being a, a key number, not a plus X, but kind of this higher level uh, with the, uh, the uh, uh, call open interest for the one DTE. Uh, you know, clearly indicated there. And it's also coincident with an upper delta node. And then you can see a lot of red above that. Why that's important uh, in the conversation here is that it's going to be very, very difficult to make upward progress, most likely above that 4550 level. Uh, we think that uh, that probably through tomorrow represents the upper bound. Certainly, we're not anticipating anything above 4560 as the headwinds will just become too strong in context of uh, the delta shift. Uh, to the downside, 4450 is indicated. We think that's a bridge too far downward, but we point it out because there's no real liquidity between the 4470 and the 4450 zone. So if we do drop through transition, which is the 4495, if we drop through that, uh, we could get captured in that mess between 4475 and 4490. We would expect that to hold. Um, we would not expect to uh, to drop below that. But if we do lose the 4475, we'll probably uh, increase our downside exposure towards uh, 4450 just to uh, to see what happens there. Taking a look at crystal ball view of this week only, this is just the PMs. This does not include the AM expiry, which will be Friday morning's expiry. Very clean overhead uh, structure failing. Um, it uh, really represents an upper bound on our what we think is the upper limit for the week in the PM structure. The 4565s are clearly presenting a headwind and above that. So that blue line that we've drawn there with that red box really shows you very cleanly that it's going to be very hard to make progress upward. We do see that note up at 4550. Again, that is coincident with uh, this week's uh, COI. Uh, so we have a lot of calls that uh, confluence and then with that overhead delta structure in the red box uh, you're going to have negative charm as those out of the money calls uh, decay at 4550 and note that the uh, minus or the plus gex level is 4540 which really represents uh, what we see as a realistic uh, capability for this week you know, we may play around with the 50s and the 45s and the 40s but we we don't anticipate going any higher than the uh, the 60 level as indicated uh, again very very clean transition the 4515 4510 that's showing up on multiple time frames you should be aware of it and then that 45 uh, or 4450 uh, zone to the bottom with a lot of negative uh, gamma in there, put dominated gamma. But note, we're still in a very uh, strong in the money call dominated environment below us in terms of deltas. And it's going to be very, very hard to collapse downward while we have all of that uh, uh, in the money call charm uh, you know, pushing up against us and being supportive. So just be aware of that, uh, that dynamic. When we bring the AMs and the PMs together for the week, which are important because the AMs will trade Thursday and then they vaporize on Friday, this is what the structure looks like. Uh, kind of more of the same. It does extend the runway up just slightly, up to that 4575 zone uh, from the 4565, but you can see we've got a, an overhead in deltas, which is negative, which are negative, and, and that's, that's a big deal. We think that's important. Uh, the transition is important. Um, you look at the 4500, though, right? So this is a call dominated uh, uh, due largely if you go back to the PMs and look at that you can see the 4500 here is uh, negative gamma but when we bring in the AMs we go into a positive gamma now that means the folks who are holding those AMs 
uh, because it's a Livermore level, whatever the case, they're going to have to make some de decisions here. Those are in the money. They can take that. If they feel that their profits could uh, could flip, they um, you know could take them off the table and roll them somewhere else. Uh, they could close them, whatever the case may be. But nevertheless, uh, we have in the money calls at 4,500 uh, in the combo complex due predominantly to the AMs. And we feel that's uh, fairly important to know that when they come off, if they come off, that will have a fairly significant uh, impact on the overall structure for this week and, and could lead to some weakness. When you close a long call, depending on where you roll it, if you roll it, uh, causes the dealer to have to sell to hedge flat. Taking a look at the AM complex, still very much uh, in the call uh, speculation mode. We do have a couple nodes above us. The first one shown there at 4585. I put an X there. But you can see green deltas above us. Uh, that's uh, you know out of the money call speculation at its finest. Uh, the same thing in the money call speculation below us on the delta. So we're still very strong in the overall uh, uh, combo complex. Uh, we feel very, um, you know, very bullish uh, looking for these pullbacks in a longer term bull market. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Do want to note that PlusGex has moved up to 4550 from 4500. That's important because that is the short term target. You can see the gamma strikes there that are, are indicated. In fact, the next chart really shows us cleanly. You can see the 4550 is the dominant. 4600 is growing rapidly and folks are, are looking at that. Uh, 4500 is shrinking because now it's in the money. People have made their money. They're closing and rolling up. Uh, 4475 is the line in the sand. You can see a very clear character change below that. So just be aware of uh, that 4475. That's where the markets really do start to change their uh, their overall dynamic. Uh, below the 4450 zone, all the way on down, you can see what's happening. Now we do have a increase in negative gamma or put dominated gamma at 4450 and points south uh, all the way on down to, uh, to minus gex down at 4000. So just be aware that People are adding puts to the downside. This will be, uh, they're adding liquidity as far as we're concerned, and we're, we're pretty pleased with that. So any pullbacks uh, will provide an opportunity for those put uh, holders to monetize, which will then uh, incentivize the, or trigger the dealers to have to buy to cover. And, you know, we'll, we'll control our liquidity descent down uh, to the downside. Now to the upside, we do think there is some bounding that could go on. You can see the JPM end of month, end of quarter. September strike up there at 4665. There's 39,000 uh, short calls there. It's not a liquid strike, but it certainly is exerting its influence already. And if you don't understand the delta, gamma, and charm influences of something that's sitting out there of this magnitude and knowing that it's not liquid, um, there, there is an influence uh, component there that we're happy to talk about. So with that, um, we'll, we'll draw this to a close. If you have any questions, comments, want to come in, kick the tires, go to gantedge.us. In the upper right-hand corner, there is a pricing tab. Click that pricing tab, fill out the blanks, come on in for a 14-day free trial. All the tools turned on. No risk to you. Uh, if you don't like it, you can leave. Most people don't leave, though. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, go to Gamma Edges with an S. And then here on YouTube, two things. If you like today's commentary, let me know by hitting the thumbs up tells me that I'm providing uh, content that you find actionable. And of course, subscribe so that you get notified next time we post a video. So with that, we will bid you farewell. Make it a great Tuesday. Don't get out over your ski tips. And uh, we'll see you in the Discord. Thanks.